hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Flavia Tomasime Kabura. This is, apart from what you saw last week, it's the first time you and I are doing this. I'm excited. So we're going to talk about everything, okay? Everything. And no, we're not going to gossip, but we're going to be the best versions of our lives. And the biggest question, because this is a get to know me tag, might be why are you vlogging for God's sake? Well, why not? Why not? I like to connect with you. So in, just in case you're not on any of my social media pages, yes, in the info, yes, you can find me on Facebook. I have a page, Instagram and Twitter. And of course, right here, if you haven't subscribed, you'll miss out on all the cool stuff. So click the subscribe button, but not now. First, let's let's get to know each other. So I ask questions on Instagram for you to get to know me. Now, I realize that some of you might be watching from anywhere in the world. So let's start with the basics. Flavia to see me. Kabura. So for a long time, I went as Flavia to Musime. I'm recently married to my awesome husband, <laughs> Andrew Kabura, so I snatched his name. So there you go. Uh, so which answers the next one? I am married. Age, we're in 2019, so I'm 31. <laughs> and I'm an on-air personality. I'm a news anchor with NTV Uganda, and I'm on radio with Capital Radio Uganda as well. So in case you want to watch the news on at 9 p.m. on NTV, and if you want to listen to me on radio, wherever you are online, it's 91.3 Capital FM. Okay, this one is saying, Mujeni Iana, how do you juggle it all, career and marriage? Let me just, because a lot of you asked how I balance work and life. So I'm just going to group it together and answer it this way. When you look at someone and you see, if you see me on TV, for example, you'll assume my entire life from eight to five is TV, which is not true. There's hours for doing everything. So your marriage, first of all, never stops. Um, that's your life. So you take care of each other. But if you go to work, you go to work, you come back, and, you know, you're in your marriage. So I think people have a misconception about this work-life balance. Just prioritize. There's time for everything. So when I'm at work, I'm at work. When I'm at home, I'm a wife. So... It's just time, right? So it's not as hard as you guys think it is. But remind me soon to have a vlog about the sacrifice of a woman, especially a career woman in marriage. Before my husband looks at me weird. When are you becoming a super mom? Shalom Prosper. Yay for wishing me to be a super mom. Yay. So a lot of you asked about when do you plan to have kids? Do you want to have kids? Uh, are you pregnant? Have you talked about kids? So. Let's group all the children or baby questions in one. Do I want to have children? Yes. As a couple, we've discussed it. Um, it is our business. <laughs> so just between the two of us and God, we'll figure that part out and we'll do what's best for us. So maybe the best way to say is I do want children. My husband wants children. There you go. Well, the rest, none of your business. <laughs> How is your typical day, Laura Ama? My typical day, there's the non-hectic weeks and there's the hectic weeks. My non-hectic weeks start from about 6 a.m. and end at 3 p.m. work-wise. So I will be up, um, take care of the home. Ladies, you know, make breakfast, make sure the house is good, make sure your husband is good, make sure you're set for work. I go to work, which is radio. After radio, I am free, which is about 3 p.m. Then I can then do, if I have stuff for my own businesses, I do. If I want to work out, then I do. If I want to write something, I do. So that's the non-hectic weeks. The hectic weeks, my day starts at about exactly 6 a.m. and will end at 10 p.m. Why? What's different? I have NTV, which means I go to the news. I have to be at work at 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. So either way, my day will end at 10 so that's a typical day. Um, why don't you post pictures of your husband on IG? So, and that's Ngashiko. Thank you for your question. So there was a lot of questions about <laughs> my partner. How did we meet? Uh, why don't I post his pictures? Seem to be a real thing and stuff about him. So let me group all of them in one. Um, how did we meet? We met at work years ago. Um, I don't know if I'm interested in telling that story. So not now. Um, uh, why don't I post his pictures on IG? I don't post things because I must. So if I'm in the mood for tea, I post tea. If I'm in the mood for something, I'm in the mood for something. Uh, so there's no, we're not claiming each other by posting each other. So I don't know how you guys understand that, but it's not a thing in our lives. 
that if you don't post me, life has ended. No. So some days you'll see him, some days you won't. But we're good. <laughs> How do you deal with society's expectations of you? Trey, 21. And I think I'm going to group this as well because some people ask a lot about how I deal with criticisms, people's opinions of me, and stuff like that. So here goes. If you know yourself really well, if you have your standards, if you know what you stand for, if you know the goal, tunnel vision, you won't really let the stumbling blocks take you down. So if I, for example, there was a lot of questions about how did you know when to get married? You kind of never know when to get married. Um, but you can decide and say that I've set my life that I'm working on my career for now. So anything else is a distraction. Or for now I'm working on my relationship. Anything else is a distraction. I tend to just have my own plan, my own goals, my own standards. Everyone else who doesn't understand this, good for you. But I will not let your opinion take over my goal and my standards. Even if you're my mother, my best friend, my sisters, nobody will tell me how to set my standards. So it should be the same thing with you. If you want to deal with expectations or criticism from other people, stop putting their opinions into yours. Have your own goal set and know this is what I want to do with my life. Good for you and your opinions, but this is what I'm doing. Viola, you're asking, which church do you go to for prayers? So let me, since you're getting to know me, let me give you the honest lowdown. So I was born into a Catholic family, raised Catholics, went to St. Teresa, just to be very, very strict Catholics. For a long time, I prayed with my mother at Christ the King Church. Then I got married to a Protestant, <laughs> but he's more of a Christian. So um, I don't know if you know that, you know, when you get married as much as you have separate uh, beliefs you need to kind of have one belief together so we are Christians we believe in God we are prayerful so because of proximity to a home we now use what Toto Church in Tinda so I don't know if you were asking just to know if I like God or if you want to come to church with me but Viola see you so there were so many questions and I want to go through most of them so guess what we're going to just take a breather while you're getting to like subscribe and be cool about it and you can find me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter my pages are linked in the description box see you next week mm -hmm.